What up? Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. What up? It's your boy T Burn and reaction today is the makeup for Russell Wednesday. So this video I'm about to react to is actually from a from one of a YouTuber I followed for a long time. He's part of one of the the the, the, the best YouTube crew YouTube crew of all time right now as well too. These dudes are awesome. A lot of folks be wanting me to collab with them in a way. I told him, like I said, I don't want to interfere with what they got going on because they got one of the best personalities ever as well too. And this member of the crew is one of the biggest wrestling fans as well too. Now I mean, I mean he's uh you know. Have his ways about wrestling as well too, and that, and he have his moments. Like I said, he should be signed as a commentator if he if he, want, if he should for anything. And that is kicking it raw stuff. So, kicking raw sometimes. Raw's had some time to have talks about wrestling. I mean, not just um you know reacting stuff. He has stuff talks about wrestling. And this was a good one as well. This is an interesting one I want to react to as well too. It's called "Do People Care More About the Chase for a Title Than the Actual Title Reign?" And that is sad. Somewhat sad facts in a way, and I say sad facts, cause you know me, I am a big advocate for the good guy, and the hero, and more importantly, when it comes to wrestling, the baby faces. And it seems like that's the one thing that that baby thing about baby face wrestler that they that's like the uh, Achilles heel, the con of being the baby face wrestler as well too. They don't get they don't get to have long title range well too. Fans, I never understood this about with wrestling fans in general that their their wrestling fans are interested in the chase more than the reign as well too. And so for the hills is this opposite in a way. Like a lot of and then and the thing about it though, I the reason why I have guys get this so I've got baby faces so well because I have got good guys, heroes and superheroes. Cause like you know, a lot of the folks these days are about the villain, about the villain origin story, story, and important. More importantly, when it comes to wrestling, a lot of wrestling fans are all about these. Especially more, more than these days, are about more interested in the heels more than the baby faces. Well, too, too, to the point, and then, and then it don't, it don't help that the company or sometimes for, for, put too much focus on. Hills more than baby faces as well too. Too they may they get baby hills the biggest freedom ever while baby face either gotta have some kind of limit to the point that to fans they become either stale or incompetent in a way as well too to the sake of trying to uh get the sympathy and then force but fortunately some fans most certain fans that become the majority of fans are not buying anymore, which is sad and everything. And then when we come to the title reign, they don't um they don't get the fair share of share share as their chases more and more highly and then their reign as well too, because then sadly I never like I said never get this fans tend to turn on turn on babyface title holders more so almost as bad as hills it well too hills you're supposed to hit the hills but you know you can't tell some people that as well too for one, but yeah it seemed like they turn on them more than the hills more as well too. To and then like to the point I sometimes am convinced that the wrestling compared to other entertainment or whatever you can call it is like more villain led than any other thing like you know like with comic books and, and movies and everything most of the time the heroes always come off top in the end as well too anime scene as well too they have more with the hit with the villain get on top but more majority of the time the 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 good guys win but it's going to wrestling it's like the Villain is more of the star attraction than the the good guys, which is like kind of like you know not getting a good a good good match, especially for for kids who watch wrestling well too. But anyway, I do want to hear uh, Ross's uh in uh input and his thoughts on this uh title he brought up called "Do People Care More About the Chase for a Title Than the Actual Title Reign?" Though, not me. And um, let's hear what um good old Ross got to say. Let's get it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I was thinking about this the other day, um, and I kind of wanted to make a video about it and kind of get your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. If you, you know, how do you feel about this particular topic? Um, is the the chase for the title 
in a sense for a baby face always better than the actual title reign like is the chase for the championship usually oh the another example <coughs> some sam another example my brothers i i've got to put some examples in but i'm gonna let him know i'll actually wait to add the bill because because he might throw some examples well too the better outcome than when the person actually wins the championship and then people kind of you know don't really care as much and i've had to really think about this like of out of all the times i wanted a particular wrestler to win the championship when they actually won the championship did i care much about their title reign afterwards and the first person i i instantly thought of and uh is um daniel bryan mm. at the height of the yes movement i think it was one of the most craziest things we had seen recently in wwe at that time and the chase for it was fantastic mm. the build for it was fantastic in the sense of daniel bryan the ultimate baby face underdog trying to overcome the authority and everything that the authority was throwing at him and at the time the shield they were heels they were working mm -hmm. for the authority so they were throwing everything at this man and he was always trying to overcome it the whole storyline of you're just a b plus player like that can that resonates with people who go to a nine to five and and dealing with someone like a boss that just doesn't yep. value them they value them as nothing more than b plus they don't value them as, as someone that could that can really contribute they just you know look at you as like a a role player and you can relate to that so that story was so good and every time he got screwed you wanted to see him overcome it prime example when he finally beat when, when he won at uh, SummerSlam that year, he beat John Cena. Mm -hmm. It was a great moment. Then Triple H screws him, pedigrees right. him. Randy Orton cashes in on him, and it was one of the craziest endings to a pay-per-view yeah. I had seen in a, quite some time up to that point. Because you were at this... You know, <coughs> the fucked up part by it, I had a bad feeling it was going to happen. I had a bad feeling it was going to happen. I had a bad feeling that Triple H was going to screw him out of it. I don't know why. Somebody, something told me that Triple H was going to screw him out of Because as soon as I saw that rant and no one came out, I'm like, uh oh, I got a feeling Triple H screwed him And he did. Ultimate high. They had the confetti and everything. And then Triple H screws him. And they reinforce, you're just a B-plus player. That's it. I love that. So now, the Yes movement is super hot. It's a fever pitch. You want to see him win. He had to go through all these hoops and obstacles. He wasn't even a part of the Royal Rumble match that year. Fans dest destroyed that Royal Rumble that mm -hmm. year. They didn't really care about it. Mm -hmm. Like, he wasn't even a part of it. He had to go through hoops just to get the match at WrestleMania 30. He ends up beating Triple H, then ends up getting injured by him, and then he ends up winning the Triple Threat match. And it was an amazing moment. And now we're like, okay, we're at this super huge high. What's going to happen? And then he ended up uh, getting injured. Mm -hmm. He had to relinquish the belt. So we don't know if that high would have stayed that way. And I feel like a lot of times, mm -hmm. especially just in storytelling, wanting the, the, the good guy to win, and when they finally do win, now is what happens afterwards. It's usually, you know, it's a good moment, but due to due the person that's watching the movie or watching the story, are they invested now that this person has achieved that goal that they've been fighting for? And where does the downfall come? You know, and we never got to see the downfall of that, obviously, because, you know, he had to uh, relinquish the belt and ultimately had to retire for a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. So it was one of those things we don't really know if his title reign would have been a success. Right. Um, the one I can think of where people were really happy about another one. And it is in relation to Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston. Yes. Kofi Mania. How mm -hmm. that happened so organically. And the fight for it was so good mm -hmm. in the sense of Kofi doing all he can to make sure that he's able to obtain the championship that he's always wanted to attain since he's been mm -hmm. in the company. And it's always eluded him. He was close with Randy Orton at one point, but there was some backstage politics and, right. and a, a botch that caused them to de-push him. Right. So to see him 
get that moment over Brian, uh, Daniel Bryan, you know, the person that is the ultimate, well, at the time he was a heel, but, he, mm-hmm. you know, at one point his story was overcoming the odds and now Kofi overcoming the odds and him getting that moment and winning. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then the title reign itself, like once he got to the top of the mountain, I was like, all right, this is great. The title reign, it, it didn't hit. And I think yeah. it's a combination of feuds. I, I think the Randy Orton feud should have been a lot better, but the matches didn't really live up. Yeah. And also, I think what hurt Kofi is like, we're all about the, you know, the power of positivity. That was the thing, all this mm-hmm. other stuff. You're the champ. But it's like at some point you got to, you know, you got to get upset. You got to let go of that power of positivity, mm. not in the sense of not be positive and, and you know, want to continue to strive to be better. But at the same time, it's like you're the champion now. You know people are going to come at you. You know people are going to do whatever it takes to get that title off of you, and they're going to be as disrespectful as possible. So you kind of got to meet them with that edge. And I think just the fuse that they had – people that they had lined up for him it just it didn't really resonate this, and people, see and that's the thing about that he has a point brawl has got a point but it is a thing with certain fans suppose they go that route like you know me and Matt there me and Matt there though see there's a thing about it's a lot of contradicted fans out there the problem is them, I can tell you this is Bianca Belair I say this all the time there's folks who dislike the face so much because they're this and that. They don't do this. They don't do that. Soon they do what they've been bitching about what faces don't do. They want to say, oh, they're acting a little hillish now. Oh, this ain't baby face. Like, this is hillish. Like, oh, like, they just bitch and moan about wanting, wanting face to have a little edge, have a little confidence, some, have some kind of sort of cockiness. Or like Ross said, meet them at their disrespect. The thing about that that sucks is folks don't want to Whole, don't want to like they don't want to keep the same energy at times that's why and like because as soon as somebody don't drop the positivity and like that, or meet them meet them it's getting used against them that's what sucks about that even it ain't just in wrestling in real life like if i because i always like being a good person all that but soon i like Try to get even with a person like that. They saw you using me like, oh, this ain't like you. You you, you getting you turning bad. Oh, we got you. Like that's what sucks about that. Like you can't like they want to hold you. They kind of they they want to hold you at this standard because you don't show no no kind of kind of whatever. And then when you so, show it because one uh, common sense you do federal people shit or you you want to. Tell people to stop and they don't listen, so you gotta get get down to their level. Then, then all of a sudden you're all this kind of big and bad. You're all this bad stuff that you were trying to avoid, but you had no choice to go there because you're trying to get, get get into um. You're trying to you you trying to like she said meet their disrespect, but now then folks want to try and use it against you just the fact just to make them feel good because now they finally got you on their dark side and everything. I kept doing that sometimes because I had to. I can't. I came with somebody or said something that a little out of character as well too. Because come, somebody's coming to me. Then he got got folks with the Leonardo uh, Caprio gift. One of us. One of us. Like don't don't do that. Don't do that. I'm being a human. I'm being a real person, but showing a little keeper. I'm a real person, but person by showing real emotion. Don't use that against me because I'm using no emotion. That like any other person should supposed to use. You know what I'm saying? And and Kofi would have did that. They would folks fans was trying to use it against him and stuff like that. Who knows? He almost kind of did it with Small Joe in a way. It was I like with the little middle finger thing. Folks was kind of then folks was trying you know downplaying for that. So it's like a lose lose situation. It's like they always put folks like especially good guy good guy characters in a lose lose situation. That's what's sad about it. Or good people in general started to not care and i i think uh another good recipe to a good title reign outside of just the chase itself is good feuds good good feuds help and this other thing though like and the other thing is wd is a see like wd well not a that the problem with two with it with adam page they gotta put some good feuds they aren't putting enough good feuds out like me stop 
stop like you, you i guess you don't want to uh use up somebody a, a certain uh, wrestler because you're afraid that um that they can use up already and not get this opportunity no more like like it's be you don't want to use your good folks too soon so you put them in bs uh fuse unfortunately does well too but how about like making a few if it, if it's a, a wrestler that's like not that gr not that in the great car pushing to be that car enough to, to to face them even if they have to lose. Now I'm saying they guess they afraid that the loss will deflate them. Who knows? But they gotta do better with the booking and the fuse as well too. And it seemed like I don't know why it seemed like why is this hard to book a baby face? Why is that got to be so hard? Like, I mean, it's like, to me, I feel like, to me, it's a lazy cop all day sitting. And I always keep saying that, oh, it's easy to book a, it's easy to book a heel, heel, but it's hard to book a baby face ain't easy. This, that's to me, is a lazy mentality. I mean, I mean, you, it, it should, if you're able to book a good heel, you should be, you should be able to book a big, book a good face. Yeah, I did it before, and the add to error, and someone in the ruthless aggression error, why can't we do that now, right? And same with, Say what uh movies and comics and TV show cartoons well too. Cause I see folks keep saying that uh heroes aren't don't don't get written well. They written as bland and boring and all that as well too. So why all of a sudden it's get is it's it's hard to to write a good hero anymore. Why is it easy to make a uh make easy to make a, a villain more interesting than the hero? I mean it's to me it's lazy thinking to me. You know what I'm saying? It's lazy thinking. Think it's real. I mean, I'm I'm not uh, man. I'm, I'm not supposed to probably come to me like I'm not a book or a writer. Why why I'm criticizing? But to me, from the outside in, it looks lazy to me. Maybe it's something deep down within the inside that I don't know about. It is what it, it. Either way, to me, it's lazy. To me, it's lazy and it's like they don't, it's like they don't give a damn at this point. Like it's it's they're they're doing they're it's like they're not caring. Help a championship reign. To keep that momentum. Like, imagine if... Because I, I was looking forward to that Randy Orton feud. You know what I'm saying? But the match itself, the matches they had, weren't really, you know, nothing to go home about. I just felt like Kofi was still in that bag of positivity and stuff. I wanted Kofi to get a little edgier. And I think it, it also comes into play with WWE's not... They're not good at booking baby faces. Yeah. They are not. They are notoriously bad. At booking baby faces the heels yeah. they can work but the baby faces for whatever reason they're not that good it's rare yeah. that you get a good baby yeah i still don't understand that like <coughs> what <laughs> like what is missing like i said and you brought, I, look, I look at the stop it's so so cool they did it before why can't they do it anymore what's what's going on and the people that was the, the good booker back then is too old to write no more or i mean can, can they be at least be mentored to the current writers right now because if they did good with the guys of what they say, Stoko Steve Bosses, The Rock as baby faces, even Triple H when he had a baby face one with DX, why can't we do it now? Even when you go back to the Rufus Gresh era with John Cena, Doug Adamas character, he was he was baby Doug Adamas. That was great. And then we became Super Cena and now it's like they looks like they couldn't write no more. What's going on? Book correctly in WWE WWE. Um Prime example. A lot of us grew up in the Attitude Era. Stone Cold is a exactly. prime example. He was going against Vince McMahon, the corporation. He, you know what I'm saying? He was going against The Rock. Like, he's going against these powerful figures, and you wanted Stone Cold to overcome him. But the one thing about Stone Cold that a lot of us appreciated, he didn't take no BS. He didn't. So even his chase was great. When he finally got the title, it was great. And he was able to maintain that intensity and that – that the hype for him being a champ because one they had some good opponents and good yes lined up for him two he's a baby face that doesn't take crap exactly you know what i'm saying he he's not even traditionally like this good guy you know what i'm saying but at the same time people care they root for him so by by default he's like he's the anti-hero He's the anti-hero. He's not going to sit up here and, you know what I'm saying, kiss babies or nothing like that. If anything, he's going to flip off the baby just because, you know, because he can. And the people are going to like that because he's the anti-hero. He's not a goody two-shoes. So now his character didn't change, you know what I'm saying, in a sense of, like, being the guy that he has to deal with these these 
these uh, odds that are stacked up against him. Like, okay, I'm the champ, but if somebody screws me or they screws me out of a match or I get cheated or whatever, best believe I'm going to get my revenge on them. And he does. Champion or not, he kind of kept that same intensity. And this is a thing, that, and like I said, they've they done it before. Even before that, to ever, be honest. Because always, they always said that reason why I raised they said that in the... In the in the um, Hall of Fame, Razor Ramon, that is going to be a bad guy. He was like, it, when he turned babyface, he did not change his character at all. He did not change his character at all. He was still the machismo. He still acted like he was like, had the bad guy mentality, even though he's a good guy. You know what I'm saying? They ain't like, they ain't by it, though. They, 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 when he turned, WWE is like, they lost it. Like, why? Why? It, then, but like, there's the only prime example of one person who keeps the same pronunciation as a face in a hill. Well, heel in the face was Bianca Belair. But they ain't bothered. I can, and like I said, but one thing, fortunately, it falls to what I said before. Folks are never keeping the same energy. They, one one day, one one fans, rest, uh, faces be edgy, have a little edge, has a little assertiveness as well, too. But soon they show it, they trying to bitch them saying that, that's their, that's not face like no more. Like, in the, like they go against what they was bitching them about or about baby faces as well. That's what, that's what irking about that as a champ and it didn't die down and I, and I feel like sometimes when we want these wrestlers you know these characters to get over I feel like once they get the title it's like they become extra goody two shoes and it's like they don't have that same intensity that they had when they were trying to get it if that mm -hmm. makes any sense and I, I, I feel like that's sometimes how it booked that way or whatnot because they're a baby face or they gotta act a certain way but I just feel like if you they give these baby to. faces just a little bit of edge, you know, a little bit of realism, like how would I feel if somebody's after my title? Yes, that that's the thing. I mean, let the dude died. I mean, but sadly, like I said, you got folks these days because it's 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 I maybe part of what's going on with society is they uh, like you know a lot of things is cookie cutters, a lot of um, it's like you know a lot of folks is get easily offended now these days, so. They're scared that they don't, they don't, they so it, it, it wouldn't look right that the baby face is offensive. So that's what the other thing to, too. It also plays too with current society of people being extra sensitive to anything these days, like I'm saying. So that's the other thing that sucks about it too. Like I said, being a good person like myself, if I go down their level because um, they deserve it in a way because they they do they all look at me as the bad person like I'm, I'm no better than them though that's what sad that's a sad sad, sad mentality folks have these days it's, it's ridiculous like you can't do nothing no more unless you wanted to just say fuck it I don't want to be a good guy no more that's in the I should have to not I should not have to not say fuck it I don't want to be a good person no more more I should say should have my deserve to have a little edge and and not and not, not let people uh, walk over me while still being a good guy, but it's like for some reason they uh, don't want you to do that no more. They want you to be a be people's bitch, be be somebody's bitch. And I mean, if you don't, unless you don't want to be a bitch, you gotta risk your good guy, your good guyness in a way. It sucks. You know what I'm saying, and this is and it's, that's why it ties in wrestling. They don't want they don't want you to show if you show some edge. Folks are gonna come, gonna use it against you, which is sad. But they start disrespecting my family. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go there with you. Mm -hmm. We about to. We about to. I'm gonna show you what's up. Exactly. I'm gonna show you why I'm the champion, and I'm gonna show you what's up. I like have a little bit of that edge, and it kind of keeps people wanting to see you be champion for a while. You know. So that's just my thought process. You know, I feel like the a lot of the times the chase is always, especially you know. In a wrestling term, wrestling sense, a lot of the times, it's not all the time, but a lot of times the chase is always better than the actual <laughs> actual grabbing of the championship and actually holding it. There's only a few times where the, the chase and the title reign were one, one in the same. They were both fairly good, but usually once champ, like the baby face gets the title, then they start to get stale. The matches and feuds don't really live up. It's like the matches and feuds on the chase – is is much better because you know you want them to get it but they keep getting screwed out of it now it's like they got it and they got to retain it but the matches and feuds don't really match the energy that you would think someone that worked so hard to get the title 
and want to keep it, it it doesn't match yeah. so honestly it's a combination of booking booking when it comes to the uh the 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 opposition who's going to be facing him the competitors the heels it's a combination of that it's a combination of the baby faces actually having a little bit more grit to them in my opinion to make you you know want to see them continuously be at the top you know i think it's a combination of those things as well um so comment down below let me know how do you guys feel about um, like i said he's key. i kind of agree with the way let me um, um the chase for titles among the baby faces in wwe you know what I'm saying? i want to get your thoughts and opinions do you feel like the chase is uh usually better than when the person actually becomes the champion or do you feel like a lot of times the chase in the champion uh championship run kind of run one in the same let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel really. all right so yeah like i say i still don't agree with them but it's not like i'm not falling the baby's all it's the booking i mean it's how they set it up and everything because another good example i should put it is they had adam page they can't they can't pay him wholeheartedly win the championship because first he lost the he lost the chance to get it um a couple of times in the, in the casino royale as well too against uh mjf he lost it in play times um then we finally got the, they was they was camping him to finally win the beat the belt from kenny omega then we had it they uh put in these fuse and everything the fuse a lot of folks was like not liking the feud. I like the feud. I like this run, but a lot of folks was not liking this run. It was sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, another one is when the Tribe of Crete was Bayface, uh, Big Dog, Roman Reigns. Like, here's another true example. Like, why you have, why, why couldn't you keep them edgy? They, they really can't try to keep them edgy, but they saying that it didn't work for him as a Bayface. What, what was, what was the, what was the problem with his? Like, why can't you make him look good as a Bayface? You know what I mean? But you, but look at y'all doing that. You're doing, they're making him, this whatever hill whatever but yet you had so much to put on him being a hill or anything making him a dickhead and all that but he had this this engine with the baby faces what's up with that i'm saying i'm just hoping like the rise of WWE wise up not me especially with uh seth rollins now such the likes of seth rollins now the new world world heavyweight champion hope he'll make the make his run bad make his pretty good as well too same with uh, KO and um, Sammy. Hope they make their tag team championship good because you got folks uh, down complaining that. Yeah, folks was getting, sadly, getting um, over over uh, Bianca's run as well, too, the 400, and she wasn't getting rifled. So I, it'd be sad, unfortunately, sad thing is that I got a bad feeling that if she does return, she, if, she takes, if she's taking a break, she's going to turn back as a heel. I'm not ready for that. Not me. But on the good side, you have, you have um, but again, they they will say anything about a, a big face title run getting stale, but it won't say nothing about a hill run title run getting stale like current tribal queef right now too. Um, they won't say anything about Jay, but now I, I but glad they finally got the bell of her. Hopefully she comes back as a baby face and many others though too. But it's just just it's just one. It's the way it's this whole uh. Thing of the of their almost some of the new writers compared to now and the add to era and the ruthless aggression era. Like I said, maybe it's it's just tied into the whole society being oversensitive as well too. Like you can't do this and that anymore, nor or you or you get canceled as well too. To that you can't like you know show some grit as a good person because folks are used against you as saying you not maybe you're not as that good if if you're uh. If you that as well too, because I, I I if I I came out kind of element cut time because it's folks messing me and then folks try to use it against me that I, I it's like it's like a lose lose situation for good folks or good good folks superhero good guys and baby faces because of today's society. That's why that's for like today's society is kind of tied into this well too. I mean, especially this this era we're in this villain era now where folks are. Picking villains over heroes, um, heels over baby faces as well too. People are looking for the villain origin story. They're sympathizing with the hate with the villains now. Now they're they're claiming they relate to the vill villains and hero and heels and bad guys more than the good guys, the superheroes and the and the baby faces these days as well too. They always stay in the adults. Adults um understand more than the the villain more than the heroes, which I do not agree with at all. I do not agree with at all, as well too. Um, 
that's part why I like and Russell and I feel like they need to do away with the alignment system of baby facing and, and heels and anything because it's not it's like it's like folks don't abide by it anymore because they they're because it's like it's like bizarre role with wrestling at times. But other than that though, what everything Ross said was uh in a tr- true in the way it's not against the baby face, it's just the people behind the booking and it's people behind the booking and society unfortunately right now. Is this is this kind of like you know mess things up for stuff like this to so where they can't be like a edgy like a Stone Cold Steve Austin or they'll get canceled or bit or get type cat or get thinking they're being more hillish than the baby faces which is not the case it's just you know they being realistic you know what I'm saying but other than that if you like my reaction shout out to kicking the rolls and always shout out to the Nicholas Squad always Dub Rawls Tribilly the affiliates such as Sir Dance a lot. The wife Nisha, uh, Chil, Chil, uh, Chils Odonis, and myself. Who, <laughs> I ain't going to say it because they be, want me to be a associate, but like I said, that'd be awesome, but we'll see. But other than that, it's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.